Hey folks, just another quick video. Um, I'm still hearing a lot of anti-China sentiment in guitar player circles. I know this is territory that we've uh, gone through before and a lot of you are enlightened. You uh, understand that modern manufacturing is less geographical than it used to be and that good instruments, fine makers, boutique guitars, um, handcrafted guitars, uh, single maker guitars, are all over the globe. They're not just confined to uh, Nazareth, PA, or any of the uh, great shrines of guitar making. So um, uh, here's an example of a Chinese guitar that I think is uh, excellent, competes with a lot of American-made models, um, and certainly uh, UK or Australian-made models as well. Uh, this is the Guild D240E limited edition and you've seen this before I've done a video on this before so I don't want to concentrate too much on the specs of this guitar beautiful uh, solid uh, spruce top and I really like the way they arched the figured or quilted or maybe it's flamed mahogany on the back I first thought this was maple but it's actually a type of mahogany with this figure uh, and these are really excellent guitars all satin finished it's got a, a light weight to it because it's very, very nicely graduated solid wood, no plywood uh, um, thickness to it. Even though the back and sides are, I believe, laminate, they're very uh, light and well done, especially with this arching, gives you more um, sustain, more projection. It's just an excellent guitar. And just a reminder that um, uh, you can find some excellent, fantastic Chinese-made guitars on the market. I know I've done Eastman's and um, other really nice China-made guitars, uh, but I think it's because there's still a lingering, um, almost like a, a, a xenophobia almost about uh, where guitars are made. Uh, I think it's important to point out that the, some of these China-made guitars which include this uh, series of Guild, also the GAD series of Guild. Um, this is the Westerly collection, I believe. Um, I've had three or four of these lately. They're excellent guitars um, in the five, six hundred dollar range. Uh, really fine electronics with the in sound. Um, simple controls that don't add to the weight or don't cut into the body of the guitar. Uh, really nice tuners on these, just good parts, a an excellent guitar. Um, you know, as good as some of the stuff that I've played in this price, price range from Canada, like uh, some of the uh, Godin, uh, Art Luthery, uh, Siegel, Simon Patrick guitars right in this pr price range, that that could be a debate to be had, I suppose. But, um, you know, these are just really good guitars. I'm really impressed with them. Uh, they look nice, they sound good. They record well, and uh, when they're available, I have a, um, a supplier at the moment that has some of these. I pick them up. Uh, I do full setups on them, and, and you know everybody who's bought one uh, is thrilled with them. They're just a step up from a lot of the other Chinese-made guitars that I've shown on this channel. I'd say they're definitely intermediate to advanced, even at this price range. Um, so that's the Guild uh, also. Uh, the last of my Smiger guitars um, is the, uh, it took me the longest to list this because I was enjoying playing it, but this is the Deluxe WMS 410, or 41D, sorry, Dreadnought with the solid spruce top and the uh, rosewood back and sides. This is just an excellent sounding guitar. It's really, really nicely, pro it projects really nicely. It's got a very full tone. Uh, it's not muddy, it's not too bright. Uh, it's a finger picker's dream, really. Whoever picks this up for uh, around $200 uh, is getting a really nice guitar. I would say that it competes well with the, uh, um, and maybe even surpasses the Yamaha 700 series, 800 series guitars that are right around that 250 price range. So just two quick examples of, um, you know, guitars that are made in China that uh, are a good bang for buck, well made, good materials, uh, finely crafted instruments um, that I've had for a while. This one's been in my house now for about two or three months. It's weathered in. There are no issues with it. The more I play it, 
the better it sounds. Um, and this is, you know, by American or British standards, a no name. These aren't known in this uh, country. So this is often the kind of um, junky Chinese guitar that gets dismissed. But I can tell you that this guitar here that I'm holding in my hands is every bit as good as the Ibanezes, the Alvarezes, uh, the entry-level Yamahas that I've had come through here uh, in recent months. Um, this competes just as well with them. Um, and the Guild guitar I showed you before is even uh, higher end. It uh, competes with the next class of guitars. So, you know, I don't want to just bang the China drum and say, hey, there's good stuff to be had uh, that's uh, manufactured in China. I want to show you examples of it and, and uh, bring it to your attention whenever it, it comes to me. I know there's still junk made there. I know a lot of the terrible, terrible, poorly constructed, bad wood guitars that are on offer at Target and uh, Walmart and uh, other places for 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars are mostly all Chinese made and they bring that country a bad and they're manufacturing a bad name but there are some really fine makers not just um, uh, handcrafted guitars but also uh, a lot of the top brands are making uh, runs of their guitars uh, out of China in the same factories, um, you know, same 10 or 12 factories, and there's some good models to be had of some fine craftsmanship uh, coming out of that country. So just to keep the balance in this conversation, I thought I'd just show you those two examples since they've just uh, come to me and I've enjoyed playing them. Uh, all right, folks, uh, see you next time.